the downside, which I thought was really interesting. So we got a lot of, tra we've, been, we've been getting a lot of traction in the gaps. Um, so I'm trying to make up my mind here all morning if we should do, I don't think we're gonna do BYND. I think I'm gonna leave this go. This is down, this is on earnings. I, 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 don't, I think I'm gonna leave this be here today. Um, even though it very well could fall and probably everything will fall again with the market if in fact the market does, which I think that it's going to. So I'm kind of torn here between Apple and the W. I think I'm gonna leave the big alone. Let's watch two things. We're gonna watch Apple the short and W. So long story short, yesterday ended up being a really nice day, except was aggressive in the morning and then took the stocks and everything worked. I hope everyone held the conviction yesterday. What I said turned out to be true. I knew when I got up in the morning, the market was gonna fall yesterday and it absolutely did. I know it pushed back hard, but this is what volatility is. Volatility isn't something going in the same direction forever and ever and ever. Volatility is people don't know where it's going next. Some people bought that drop off yesterday because the pushback I could tell was not just short covering, but some buying that came in there because the pushback was hard, hard into the lunchtime period. This is back here, sorry. This was from the drop off in the morning, then the pushback that happened into lunch, but then we collapsed. And we collapsed a lot in the after hours, and then we obviously gapped down tonight. Now we were down lower this morning, but we're falling even now. Actually, we are back down to the low. 198.24, no, we're, we're back down there. Yeah, I saw that about a half an hour ago. So I think we watch Apple and W. And I don't know which one I'm doing. And know if you do an aggressive trade with me today that it could stop. So, you know, I mean, it could stop and we could have to do a retake, which we did yesterday. And if you can't live with that, then wait for the later setup. Wait for the five minute. Wait for the two minute if you don't want to do it aggressively. I mean, I, I expected us to fall right away as yesterday. We didn't, but we might today. Do you know what I'm saying? So apples up is the main one. W in the middle. You could do one thing today. You could do two things today if we do them. All of the options trades, if you get out of them yesterday, fine. I ended up not calling any new ones today. I just didn't see any reason to do that. Uh, going into the weekend, it's just, I, I, I just think you gotta put on what you have on and, and, it, and if you got out of everything yesterday, you could retake them, quite frankly. No, I, I called nothing new today. But all the trades I called yesterday were great calls. And we're lucky we had the week that we had um, to, to, to get momentum because, well, we'll talk about that later. I don't want to get too sidetracked. Is there anything else I don't know about that's going on today? Let me check quickly. What is today? February 28th. One thing out of 10.30. 10.30, we have one number. I don't know, should we watch W first? I think both these things are gonna have a spread. I think, well, W might open late. Let's watch Apple first, like I planned. W second, because it could open late, because the, the exchange that it's in, it also has a big spread right now. But so does Apple for some reason, which I don't think it's gonna last. Any last minute questions here from anyone? Target on Apple, dream target today is 245, 240. That seems insane, but this whole week has been insane to me, so. I think one of the news is I saw out this morning, now 33 people in California are infected. I think that was new. I don't know what else new came out about the virus this morning, but that was the one thing I, I did see. Okay, this isn't open yet.
Okay, Debbie was showing a $2 spread. <laughs> okay, leave that be. <laughs> Is that real? Apparently so. Gosh, everything is spready this morning. Even big is spready. All right, just looking around here, people. I'm a little surprised at some of these spreads. Again, we're not in a rush here. Oh, BYND. All right, BYND. Flipping around to this to see if this is going to set up after the way that this opened here. BYND. is a really big stop I want to wait for a better setup but you could do 99 it's got to be like 40 99 by 40 BYND and that could hit I'm gonna see if there's a better setup in it but that absolutely could hit here it's gonna hit 99 by 40 if you want it it's a really really big stop we'll go back to that in a minute Okay, Wafer has a dollar spread. Ay, 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 now it's a dollar and a half. I'm just not interested in that. No, I'm not gonna do that for that. All right, look at an apple and I'll go back to the BYND and pass it on the, uh, I'm passing on the Wayfair because of the spread, I think it's too big. see if something gets going here in BYND. So it did not actually hit 99. BYND, let's see. Eighty-eight, eighty-eight, eighty-five is going to be the stop if this holds in here. Let's see if it does. I don't have the entry yet. In fact, let's put it over eighty-nine to be safe. Eighty-nine twenty. This could be two bucks. Better than three and a half. Okay, let's wait a little bit here in this BYND. Okay, not anything yet, just waiting. Okay, BYND. Waiting on this. This I'm not doing. This I this is tightened up finally this big. I'm not sure if that opened on time either. I think we're just passing on that. This is flipping. Apple's not ready yet. If it is going to continue lower, I don't know. At this point. Let's go back to this. Alright, just sitting here and watching and waiting and haven't done anything and just waiting, which I think is the best plan of action here for today. So, and I really, to be honest with you, did not scan for any longs because I didn't think long was a play today. So I don't know. Maybe we're not going to do anything today. W isn't going to work. Big, I don't like the way the bars look. This was really spready but didn't set up. This we can still look for. This is not ready yet if it's going to go. All right, back to the BYND. Where does everybody have the open on this? I think this is messy here. I'm not sure if this was real. Where does everybody have the open on this? 
What do you have the open on this BYND here? I don't know if it was 95, 75. Yeah, I don't think this opened till here. I think this is a false bar. Wow, nobody has the same numbers. One person said 88, one person said 90, 20. I have up here 95, 70. Wow. None of us have the same numbers. Well, we definitely didn't open at 9.30, that much we know now. All right, 91, let's see if 91 is gonna hold. Stopping this would be 91 to be safe, 55. No, oh, it's gonna be a big stop. We can do 50 by 55, and that's what it's gonna have to be. Well, let's just wait, just wait. No one should be in anything yet, there's no reason to rush today. Hold on one second. That, you didn't turn that on right if that beeped. That can't possibly be done by now. So that's, that's the, that it didn't run. Just letting you know. It couldn't have run, but I, I can't talk to you right now, but I'm just letting you know it, that. I'm not going to aggressively do this because I want to make sure that it's done. Can you get the door? I'm not expecting anyone and I can't talk to them now if it's anyone. I cannot talk to them. Let's just see if this holds 92. I, I, there's nothing else really setting up here, people, so you kind of got to wait. I mean, I, if we don't do anything today, we don't do anything today. I'm not going to go long this. I needed to talk to you, and I didn't know you are coming. I'm running my business right now. I'm sorry. I mean, I do want to talk to you. I just didn't know when you come. Can you come back in a half an hour? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay, stop's going to be 92.35. It's going to be what it is. I figured two, three dollars. So let's wait for the two minute on this to be a little bit conservative today. 07 by 92.35. Here, you can do it. You can do it right in here. It just hit. And don't worry about your fill because this is such a big stock. Just make sure you have yourself sized right. This is the two minute hit, the one minute hit. This could be it for this. Although this bar is funky. So if you're looking at my chart, do not give this any weight. I got four different price points from people that said that stock this open. So I don't believe any of them here. Here, this is, that was it. That was it. Just make sure you size yourself correctly. So let's go over it. Again, I give the pennies before because there's just not enough time, but this was 90.07, and the stop is 92.35. Do you follow me? Here, that was it. Wow, and I was prepared to do nothing. I wasn't gonna do anything today after, in about two minutes. Uh, Microsoft, I just don't think we should day trade. It didn't follow through yesterday. It, um, it just absolutely didn't do what I wanted to yesterday, even though obviously with everything else, this was down, but I, I just don't think this is gonna be the day trade. I just don't think it's working right as a day trade. I think yesterday when it came out with the reason, which was they lowered guidance, it should have worked. And, and again, this obviously is fine with the market, but on the live day, this isn't getting the selling. Here, I mean, I, no. So time of the day is 940. This is the one here. We're lucky we have this. The, everything in the world was down. Everything's pushing back. It's only 10 minutes into the open. I do not want to trade all day today like we pretty much did yesterday. That was a long day. It was fruitful, but it, it's just not a good idea to be trading all day on a Friday. Let's go over the targets for this BYND. I 
don't know. I mean, 83 looks realistic. 83, 82, 75. Yeah, that's a good entry. And we waited, and here we go. We're getting it. So here's what you can do because these bars are messed up. This might be the open at 931. I don't know. So the low here was 8610. So you got to watch that for a possible bounce. Uh, Jackie, you should have checked that because you were the one that told me about this last night. You should have checked that this morning. You were the one that told me about this one. I even forgot about it. You should have checked that this morning. I don't know. I mean, it's probably too late for you to call now. I would sit tight then today. I think 85 is realistic. It's a dollar through the low here. All right, let's look at what's strong. That's what I want to look at here. So let's see if Netflix does anything right here today. This has been one of the strongest things this week. It's been strong, strong, strong. And it's strong today. Wow. This was down last night. Now it's rallying. So I think this gets a lift. The other one was this, and I know some people emailed me they killed it. Let's see how Domino's Pizza is doing today. I think this still recovers as well, but there's no volume in this today for some reason. And Tesla went down with everything else. So you could have got out of it yesterday, you could have got out of it this morning, or if you're riding it into next week, I still think you're taking a chance holding anything into next week, people. Now this is backing up. So again, if we're if if this really was the open here, we didn't get down there yet. You could have got out of that right there. You could just got out of it. You could have just you could have taken it where I called it, and you could have just got out. I mean, it just went three dollars, but we're still up in this. Let's let's just give it a little more time. There's a number at ten. Anyways, the one thing I wanted to say. Um, I was thinking about this in reference to pretty much this week. Uh, the, the, like, I saw yesterday that we could have shorted anything, and we did. But remember, like, everything pretty much pushed back. If we, if we go into a bearish market environment, which I'm, I am not saying that's going to happen, but I got to be honest with you, I really don't know anymore because the fact is that the market fell so big this week and it was so unexpected to me and so many people are assuming that we're going to have this huge, massive amount of people that are going to get this virus. Um, I really can't say if we're going to hold the trend. I just don't know. I mean, the fact even if we rally all day today doesn't really mean that then the fear is over the market sold off based on panic and fear this week and like i said yesterday if even one u.s citizen ends up dying for this disease which god forbid i hope doesn't happen but if one person does this market will tank i mean it will tank and so that kind of thing could happen and i hope it doesn't happen but this is all panic selling this week it was non-stop every day monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and i didn't expect it so i i don't know if we're going to hold the trend in normal circumstances i say yes but we're we're not in normal circumstances that doesn't mean you hold trades forever and don't get out you can hold some you can hold you can hold them a little bit like you could still be in the shorts that i called yesterday but holding into the weekend is very very touchy in my opinion Okay, so let's see if this can get through 87. If it can, we'll let it drop through 86. If it can and it touches and bounces on that 87 number, then we'll just get out and we'll call it a week. And it was a good week. Does anyone have any questions about anything at all? Everyone should have had a good week. Did this very well today here. And this wasn't easy because the open was whacked. Up bullseye said greatly. 
All right, we got to get back through 88. Here we go. This is this is I think 85 is a realistic number for this and I I didn't I didn't call a put in this. I just I've called 700,000 options trades this week. I think it it's it gets to just be a lot to manage. It it just gets to be like it just gets to be like so much to manage. So I think it's just better if people play everything out today or, you know, I know I talked to Jackie last night. She got out, out of everything. So here this goes. Now, what was the other thing I was going to talk about? It's just things just look so great. I did do a video on BA last night. I forget if I sent it out or not. I was so tired. So 275 looks likely for this. I called another trade. I called 700 trades in this yesterday. I called one later. Later. I'm glad I did that. Um, okay, here we go. BYND. I think this is going to break 87, but if you want to get out of this here, you can. It didn't break it yet. It's got 50 cents to go. I don't know. Was this the open or was this the open? Like now that I'm looking at this, I'm wondering if this was the open. Like see that there? Like the way it's acting here? Like I don't know. Like this is, it's very hard to read here when this open was. It definitely wasn't here. I don't know if it was here. Maybe it was here. Oh, I thought I wanted what I wanted to say, but let's wait till this drops so I don't get distracted. going to break 87. Okay, we do have a number out at 10. Oh, it's not doing it yet. Okay, so let's talk about some targets just really quickly here. Uh, I mean, uh, the obvious target in test is 600 for the people in the puts. If it breaks 600, God knows where it can go. I mean, again, I only called one trade in this because I called so many trades yesterday. It just, But, I mean, if this goes down to 600, and if this breaks 600 today, which it absolutely could, I have no idea where this goes. This could end up being the biggest trade. This short that I called yesterday in this stop could end up, if it wants to go, completely reversing all of the calls that I had called last week when it didn't follow through because the market fell this week. That sounds insane, but I'm telling you, it could. It's just the one trade, because I only called the one. But if you're out, you're out. And again, I don't have any problem with that. And, and how you could be playing some of these things that I've called, um, come on here. You could, you could, what you could have done, and I didn't know this was going to happen, but you could have taken them, got out. You could have retaken everything I called yesterday and, and, and taken it again and, and, and held it through. I mean, you could have, like, I mean, the way that it was yesterday back and forth, you could have done everything twice, literally. I mean, I didn't know it was going to work out like that. And again, if you held through everything, fine. But, like, you could have gotten back in if you got out in the morning is my point. I 
I'm thinking that this might be the low here. I don't know. I think this was the open here, not this second bar. Because the way that you see how this is trying to hold this little amount. So, I mean, if you want to get out of this here, you can. This, this hasn't broken yet. I think this bar was actually the open, the way that this is acting here around this price point. I think we've got such a good an entry, it's okay to hold. I don't think I'm doing any of the day trades today. I just think we've had a long week, and, I, and I'm really tired. I was in bed yesterday. I think I fell asleep at 8.05, and I'm still tired. Um, so, I, and I have to watch all the options. So, I mean, I'm not doing any of the day trades, but you could short Apple here. This could be it for this. Um, you could short the market here. You could short everything, really, if you want again at 10 o'clock, probably. Let's see if that that we have a negative reaction at the news at 10. This is just, a try, try not to look at it. I mean, I, I, Jackie, did you get back into it? I mean, it's it's hard because it's like, it's it's really going, but it's like, it. same thing with this. I mean, again, if you get out, you get out. But I mean, like, the and again, if you want to get out of some, then hold the ones that have the biggest potential or hold half. Like, I mean, it's, you kind of got to look away. Like, you can't, like, you look at it and just go, do, do, do. I mean, you, if you want to get the bigger moves in here, and this was the thing with yesterday. This was the thing with yesterday. I said we were going to fall yesterday. It didn't happen. It did happen, but it didn't happen at 9.31, which is fine. And then it took a little bit longer. Like, I mean, just be, you can't give up on something. You have to hold the conviction. If you, I said that. I said that. I kept seeing, keep saying it. If you don't hold the conviction, you're screwed. And people, I think, gave up. On the market short at one point yesterday then went long then thought the market was higher then probably got stopped out of the long didn't expect to reshort it then maybe shorting came in later the day i don't know it was very messy yesterday but i said we're lower and i was right so you know you have to know what you're doing here we're still up in this there's no reason to panic we had a great price in this you get out of this here if you want you can wait a little bit more I think this is messed up about the open. Let's see if that went long enough. I think people are expecting the market to hold today. I mean, watching like some news shows and stuff last night, I mean, like there was a general consensus. People think the market is was gonna hold today. I don't know where anyone was getting that from. I don't know why anyone thought that at all. Um, I really had conviction we were lower particularly one that we'd gap down and two, depending on the setup, you know, that it would be a watch and wait and see. So when we gapped down this morning, I didn't know if we'd continue going, but it looks like we are. So you kind of got to watch and see. Again, you're never going to get out of every short at the low. You're never going to get out of every long at the high. So either if you're going to take the chance and get a bigger move, then you kind of like, you have to say, okay, let's see what's happening here. And you have to watch it and you have to like, Wow, I think this has gone to 250. This is totally insane. And I don't know. That's I don't say I'm not saying today, but like this is going to 250. It's going there. And I'm not going to call any trades in it cuz I don't know if it goes there today or 5 days from now in a month, but this is going to probably go to 250, which is insane. I called this short. Does everyone remember? I've been talking about it for months. I don't know if anyone listens to anything I say. I really don't. Um mm -mm -mm. You think the Fed will drop the rain or talk about it next week? Is there a meeting next week? I didn't even look. Let's look. Jackie, did you do a BA put then, a new one today? Okay. Well, that'll keep you busy. All right, what is today, next week, Wednesday, Fed Beige Book? I don't know, I don't want to be in this for three hours here. Let's just see if this, if this doesn't go here between now and 10, 15, I'm just going to get out of it. Does anyone want to go over anything from the week? Monday was easy. Tuesday was easy. Wednesday was easy. Today is easy. Yesterday was not easy, but it, it was a great day. So, I mean, you know, 
wish every day was easy and big, but sometimes if you want to have a big day, it's, you know, you really got to get, keep your thinking cap on and kind of not give up on it. I'm very much like that. It's a quality that you people can learn from me. I mean, I just stay right on top of something. I mean, I just don't waver. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's really a quite frankly a unique quality. Oh, you did the 275 puts it expire today. Wow, you were getting crazy. To do a today's expiration. Does anyone remember what I said about this stock? I said something about this stock too. Let's see if anyone remembers. Anyone remember what I said about this stock? Morale, I think about Tesla that what I just said 15 minutes ago, but I'll go over it again. Does anyone remember what I said about this stock? Anyone, anyone at all? In the last, I don't know, two months ago, a couple weeks ago, a couple of people kept asking about it and asking about it. People wanted to buy and people wanted to go long it. In fact, I know Pablo wanted to go long it. Pablo wanted to go long it here. Everyone in the world wanted to do it. Boom, 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 boom. I said, this is not back up in an uptrend. Do not buy this yet. This isn't a good buy here. I don't know where this goes. I wouldn't be surprised if it's lower, but if it is lower, if it does gap down, it's gonna make new lows. It's gonna break 50, it's gonna go to 50. Looks like that's where it's going. This isn't with the market, this is earnings. This is on its own. This would have happened today no matter what. Do you, under, do you follow me? So this is good. That's right, it'd have to go to 130. That was, it'd have to gap up and hold 130, 135. It didn't do anything. Here we go, BYND. Boom what, the market? What was the boom about? Raleigh wants me to go over Tesla. Tesla is sitting here trying to hold on. What I said about this a couple of minutes ago was that this potentially could get to 600. That's the target. But if you want to get out of it here, if you're on the options letter, you could. You could have got out of it yesterday. This moved. I called this at the perfect time. I'm so glad I remembered to call it. I almost just was like, move aside. And then I said, oh, it's going to drop, so I may as well. Anyways, long story short, if this breaks 600, this is what I said. It's going, I have no idea where it goes. It has a long way down. And don't think this stock can't do it. So if you get out of this here, fine. If you're already out of it, fine. You can take it again. I think it's going to go to 600 today. I don't know if it breaks that. If it does, it has a long way down. This has a long way down because it's already broken. This is nonstop down. I mean, this is just down. Everything is down tonight. It took a lot, I mean, a lot of conviction to hold anything overnight. But Zen Trader said this, this was funny. This was like two weeks ago, I think with the Teslas when we were in it long for the one night. She said she was sleeping with one eye open, which was funny because you really don't know in this market. I mean, you absolutely have no idea what's gonna happen the next day <laughs> because it could come out with a vaccine and the next day we're up a bazillion miles. I mean, or like I said, somebody could die, God forbid, in the US and then we tank. So, I mean, you just don't know, but it is important to make sure that you book profits. If you're fine with putting the risk on, do it. I find a lot of people say they're fine, but they're really not fine. They pretend that they're fine, but they're really not. So you really gotta be fine, not just say you're fine. If you're gonna hold it. All right, once we break through all this, I'll feel like we're through through any bar that was real or fake. I don't even know. Uh, let's down here, 86.50. We got a number out in 30 seconds here, people. We're gonna see if we can get a flush in this and then get out, and then we're done. We're done for the day, we're done for the week. Manager trades accordingly, but I would be very I don't, I just don't see any reason to hold any of these into the weekend. Like I just don't, I just don't see there's any reason to do that. I just don't see any reason to do that at all with how much these are up. But could we gap down next week? Sure, we could. Anything's possible. I don't know why people thought we rallied today. That was, that was a dumb prediction. The day to rally was Tuesday. That was the day, and when we didn't do it, and I was shocked, utterly, utterly shocked, but the day that we didn't rally, then I knew that we weren't gonna, and that was, wasn't good for the market. Weekends are notoriously negative, okay. Good to know. Did 
Disney is a sad spectacle here. One with the market, two with the news. It's as I just can't believe where this has gone. Where will VA go today, you want to know? Look, this is literally straight down. Um, where will this go today? Hold on. Let's just see if this breaks the low, and then I'll go back and go over that. I just don't want to miss this if this has a nice little fat, fat, fat bar. Wow, what a great call. Great job, everyone, this week. Every single person here should be up money this week, and some people have had a huge week. And I, I just hope that everyone did well. Here, yay. Oh, I'm so good at what I do. Come on, let's see if it breaks 60. Let's see if it breaks 50. If not, we're going to be out. I said 85 on this today. I was right. Wow, what a nice, wow. Big stop, but beautiful move. Here, out, out. Not gonna, 30 seconds, don't care. Here, great, great job, everyone. And if you're still in it, I would bar by bar it. Uh, this was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move. And if you want, I mean, dream target on this today. I mean, dream target. Here, it's still going. Dream target. 82, 83, 84, 80. I mean, dream target 80, really, with the market. All right, BA. BA, BA, where do you, what do you want me to, today? I said I think this is going to 250. But not today, probably. I mean, I don't know. that If this goes to 250 today, we're taking the next month off. <laughs> zero i don't know i mean i, I can't answer that question I, it's, it's at 270 i mean i i think you're gonna watch it like you just have to watch it you have to watch it this is at a target right here do you want to get out you can get out you you're you're you ev don't be pigs about these trades i've called so many good trades here the last 48 hours you just 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 who cares i mean i think that you have to make sure that you book money get out of half if you're not sure if this is a low Get out of half of it right here. You particularly did an expiration date that was today. I, you have to get out of this soon because you're going to whittle away the time value. So if you did an expiration today, you're bar by barring this here, in my opinion. See if it breaks 270. If it doesn't, you're out. It's going to try. You're bar by barring this with the date. If you do it on the day of, you, just, that's, you have to play it like a day trade. Bar by bar by baby bar. You're up $350, great. All right, what do you want to go over? Oh, we had a number, let's check it. Jackie did the expiration for today. She's getting crazy. 